Hey folks, Gary Diesel Pros here. Just wanted to put a quick follow-up video together, uh, kind of show you around SL5P here. Um, and uh, it's just kind of a follow-up to my lift versus level video. Um, a lot of folks interacting with that video. Um, I think there's a lot of misconceptions about things. And um, I just kind of wanted to show you all what I was kind of talking about here, right? So here's kind of a, kind of a flat view of, of the angle that's on these upper control arms. <clears throat> and you'll see how they've got this angle built into it. Um, some of you already know this, some of you don't. But you can kind of see what that does to help offset that angle. The factory control arms just continue on straight down, right? Puts a heck of an angle on that upper ball joint. Um, but these kryptonite arms and um, Cognito Motorsports arms, this is what they're designed to do. Their, their main function is to help the ball joint stay intact, right? Um, moving down here, hopefully you can kind of see, let me see if I can widen this view here. Let's see here, oops, wrong way. Okay, okay. So that is what I mean as far as angle. Uh, if you guys look, you can see the angle on that CV shaft, angle on the lower control arm, angle on that tie rod, right? And you know, if you're gonna do it, well, you might as well put some good components in here, right? So these uh, and other manufacturers, you know, like Cognito's got their um, steering linkage, this is kryptonite stuff. And uh, all, you know, good components designed to be a little bit stronger than factory. You can kind of see what that center link looks like in there, right? Uh, that's super beefy all the way across. And yeah, that's all good. Like, we like that. Um, and that's just one of the things that you really should be doing um, to get your steering back up to snuff, right? This is uh, pretty telling here, right? Look at this angle. All right, so the angle on this part of the steering knuckle didn't change but that just kind of shows you how much angle you're gaining on your tie rod ends and stuff um, and hey I get it right there's a <clears throat> I don't know there's just some folks out there that uh, you know they don't they don't want to go through the hassle of of doing you know all the drop bracketry that our four and six inch lift kits have and, and that's fine um, but this is what you're giving up, right? Um, the ride on this, um, you know, the Fox 2.0 that's on it, it's not horrible, but it's nowhere near as plush and on that first, say, you know, inch and a half worth of suspension travel. Um, it's just not, and I don't think it ever will be. Um, and it's simply because, you know, this, this tire has to move out before it can move up. And that's kind of the, that's kind of the deal, right? Uh, but hey, save some bucks. Got himself a, a level GM looks great super nice truck and uh, just in case you're wondering yeah it steers down the road straight um, with all these suspension components and um, I think he's gonna be real real pleased with this thing but anyway um, as always you guys got questions post them in the comments below uh, like and subscribe we always appreciate that and uh, we'll see you on the next video